Has your Android phone aged a bit and slowed down? Well, here are a few ways to make it snappier and fast again. Make your Android fast again. Yay, I went there. Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and welcome to FTJ. FTJ is new and needs your love, so go on, ring that damn bell. So the first step is to do with your storage and cache. Your phone needs a certain amount of free space to work smoothly, so if your storage is filled to the brim, well, you need to free it up. You can do this just by deleting unwanted files and you can also make backups of your crucial data that occupy too much space and just delete them. Sometimes, even after clearing up your data, you might find that a portion of your storage seems to be occupied. This you'd probably find unaccounted for. This could just be cache, so you could clear cache by going into the storage options in your settings and under that you'll find a breakup of how all the storage is being utilized on your phone. You'll find a cache column here and when you tap on it, you'll have an option to clear all the system cache from your phone. However, system cache is not the only type of cache. The apps on your phone also create and store some cache. You can clear them through the settings app on a per app basis, but that just takes too long. It's quite the hassle. Instead, you can have an app like All-in-One Toolbox that will help you clear all the cache in a single go. You can find many such apps on the Play Store, but All-in-One Toolbox works well for us and it helps that it has a bunch of other tools bundled into it. Now, it's important to not keep doing this all the time. You wouldn't need to do this more than once a month at the absolute worst. Doing it all the time is kinda counterproductive since cache is present for a reason and having an app constantly rebuild cache might actually slow down the phone. Tip 2 is also something to do with clearing up storage, this time by replacing some of the apps on your phone and using light versions of the same. Developers sometimes make lighter versions of popular apps and these light versions use up less storage on your phone. A good example of this would be Google Maps. The normal Google Maps is a 44 MB download from the Play Store but on the other hand the light version called Google Maps Go is just 175 kilobytes. Saving storage isn't the only function that these apps serve, they are also designed to be less intense on the system. Meaning they don't hog down the CPU as much and they use lesser amounts of RAM compared to the full-fledged versions. Some popular Lite apps include the likes of Facebook Lite, YouTube Go, Uber Lite and so on. While using Lite apps, one thing that should be kept in mind is that Lite apps do not give you all the same features that the full versions do. This could affect the functionality, but for most of these apps, the most regular tasks they work well with the light versions, so they could help speed things up. Tip number three is very similar to the last one. It has to do with replacing a system launcher with a third party one like Nova or Eve. I mean, this can make a huge difference sometimes. You get a lot more customization options and like the light apps we mentioned before, a lot of third party launchers are designed to be lighter on the system resources and storage. For number four, we have one of the oldest tricks in the books. A lot of you guys might have guessed it already. It's reducing the animation speeds. For those who are unfamiliar with this, let me explain. So first, you need to enable developer options on your phone. So now go to your settings menu, tap on about phone, scrolling down you'll find the build number, tap the 7 times and then you'd find a message saying you're now a developer. You now have access to developer options. Scrolling down there you'd find options to increase or reduce the animation scale. Change all 3 options to 0.5x and exit settings. Now when you use your phone, you'll find the system animations are much faster. By adjusting those settings, we have essentially reduced the amount of time system animations display on screen. This in turn makes the phone feel much more responsive and snappy. For number 5, we have one other thing that you can do under developer settings, limiting the amount of background processes that can run on the phone. Reducing this to something like at most 2 to 3 processes should free up resources by closing apps that run in the background and reallocating those resources to the apps that are running in the foreground. On phones running Oreo and above, there is also an option to restrict certain apps and stop them from running in the background. This is called background check and you'll find it right under the limit background apps option. From here you can scroll the list and just turn off the apps you don't want running in the background. Tip number 6 has to do with unnecessary background processes. A lot of times manufacturers bundle some pre-installed apps with the phone. These apps take up space and also run background tasks using system resources and draining the battery. We generally call these apps bloatware and you generally can't delete these apps but however you can disable them and stop them from running in the background. Just go to the apps and notifications in the settings and hit the menu button on the right hand corner, show system. This should reveal all the system apps and you can then scroll through and disable the ones that you find unnecessary. 
If all else fails, well, one of the most common solutions to remedy a slow phone is to do a full factory wipe. It goes without saying, it's recommended you back up all your data before you do this. Now to do a factory reset, you can just go to system options in your settings, hit advanced and then reset options. Inside you'll find an option to erase all data and factory reset the phone. This should fix most issues and make your phone as snappy as it can be. Now everything we've talked so far has to do with software on the phone but sometimes the issue could be hardware related. And the part that is most prone to degradation on a phone is its battery. Faulty batteries have been known to reduce performance. A simple fix would be to swap your batteries out for a new one. Remember Apple's throttling controversy? Now once a battery does get old it can't power the phone properly so do swap out batteries on your phone if you find it underperforming and none of the steps above have helped you fix it. So that's it for this video, hated it? Use the dislike button. Also, close by you have that subscribe button and bell icon. Click on that too if you've not done it yet. And by the way, did you see these? Somewhere, I don't know where it's popping up, but it's somewhere. If you haven't, go ahead, click on it, watch it. Now go on, till next time, this is Ash here. You've been watching FTJ Bussy for Retech, and it's time for me to leave. Ciao.